Hello everyone and welcome back to Universe Sim and we are returning to our adventures and trying to get my little civilization of Petroli up and going and speaking of up and going someone just climbed up the weather tower with a broken leg you are truly a hero truly what is your name I, I, Amy Amy it's very nice to see you she has a child she is a forecaster she wants to predict the weather that is kind of cool I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to give her like a little maybe let's give her like a little ghost sign to sort of indicate that she keeps an eye on the winds she is an educated individual she does have a child it would be kind of cool if I could see who her kids are but we're gonna keep an eye on her because I just thought that was kind of really really cool she she struggled all the way up this tower in order to keep an eye on the weather for everybody uh and that was kind of amazing and now she believes in me amy i am so happy i need to figure out where she lives so we'll check in on her in a little bit because i want to like tag her child as well and maybe we'll be able to actually follow an entire nugget family and i can really start seeing as my people develop their little homes how they have relationships with one another and how their society continues to expand and did you see that lightning in the distance <gasps> That's really cool! Sometimes coming down at a nugget eye view really helps to be able to appreciate this place even more. But all right, speaking of nugget eye view, check this out! Our brand new iron mine has finally finished built here in the mountains. It will hopefully be dredging up all of the minerals that we need in order to, metals I really should say, that we need in order to really make the most of our developing society. So let's go ahead, we're gonna assign a couple nuggets to working here. Let's pick a couple young, strong nuggets. Uh, let's see, you're eight, that'll do. <laughs> All right, so these two are gonna start coming over here to get to work. They will start gathering up some iron for us. Amy is still working on her weather forecasting. I hope winter is still pretty far off. Uh, what is this? Oh, juicy acorns. I don't think I have any of those yet. Uh, let me see, I need my telekinesis. I'm gonna go ahead and gather the telekinesis and drop it on this farm. Uh-oh, somebody died. Well, my gravekeeper's on it. And let's see, Juicy Acorn only gives nine. It uses three water. It has a same speed row, so we're, we're probably fine just leaving it as it is. And then Kotame here is off to go and help out with the restaurant. We have the teacher over here coming over to teach the students. We have one student. Oh, even if they're older, they can come to the school. S hang on. Schools provide an important education for young nuggets. Educated nuggets are produced by schools who can then operate advanced key buildings. Schools also uh, eradicate many negative nugget, nugget traits. I didn't know that. That's really cool. You can get rid of bad traits from here. Uh, assign educated nuggets to schools to decrease learning time in future generations. Who knew teachers needed an education too? Interesting. So I should probably like assign a educated nugget to being the teacher there. As soon as we have some more, I will. Oh, look, it's Montumbu. She's the one who we have working over at um, the, we have her working away. Oh no, she collects things. She's kind of a laborer who goes back and forth delivering resources. So that'll help out. For once, our cemeteries are actually empty. I think my people are like decently okay at the moment, but we were doing a bunch of upgrades. Oh, that reminds me, we were doing a bunch of upgrades. And sure enough, my friends, look right over here. The water pump has increased output. We're actually running really low on the remaining water over here though. So I think we're going to uh, go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and maybe demolish this building because we're at max output. So I really don't need this anymore. Still at max output of 65. Okay, so I lost some max output. The reservoirs should technically start filling up soon. Are any of them filling up? But I don't wanna I don't wanna take care of this little lake too much longer because I don't think we're gonna have it for much longer. And destroying that water well was that or that water pump was me trying to save some resources. Yeah, we've got lots and lots of water. I think we finally took care of that problem. 
and I think we're still upgrading all of these water wells. And that's definitely a good thing to do. And this water pump needs a little bit of attention too. Where are you going? We're going to play tag later. I can't wait. Oh, he's picking up some resources. All right. I think that everybody is doing what they're supposed to. What? Somebody broke their leg. I can help. I can earn another believer. Oh, uh, let me go ahead and get the healing rejuvenation power. Boom. Do you believe in me now? Curses. They don't. Well, it was worth a try. Also, it looks like winter is coming. Huh. Yeah, the school. Let's try assigning a teacher who's actually educated. There we go. Education. A young teacher. Let's go with this person. There we go. And now she'll come over to the school and I think she'll actually do the work in the school. We have tons and tons of meat over at the hunting area. Oh, somebody else has got like a wound of some kind. Well, winter might be coming, so I don't want to heal too many nuggets, but we'll keep an eye on that. There is a doctor in town, you know, and the doctor should be doing nothing. Are you mixing stuff? There we go, preparing medicine. We don't have a lot of herbs, so, oh, that's one of the things I wanted to do. We're actually gonna come over and we are going to swap out this farm instead of growing any of the crops. I wanna start trying to grow some herbs and just see how that goes. So we're gonna do devil's lettuce next round. And we're doing that because I don't think we have enough resources for the medical areas. So I wanna try to take care of those. All right, let's see. We have a well working over there, pulling up a lot of water. Yeah, I think we're finally making a little bit of progress. A farmer is not on the site, so these farmers are off to rest. Oh my gosh, there's another wolf that has died in some sort of fashion. Another, oh look at the upgraded dating. Oh my gosh, I want to see a nugget dating. Chafusu was just dating. Really? How did it go? She has a spouse. And that's about it. And she was looking for a cloud. That's really funny. My nuggets are beginning to carry more now that they have those packs. Construction of the water pump has finished. Yay! I think we're making progress, guys. And meanwhile, there's a lot of nuggets with, like, aches and pains who are just ignoring them. You guys don't have to do that. You know you can go get healed, right? Boom. Believe in me! Nope, but <laughs> they there are there are a lot of nuggets who apparently are like having honeymoons and things, so that's kind of sweet. All right, looks like winter is still encroaching. We have an extra graveyard over here because I probably am gonna need it. We have a nugget gathering stones over there. As soon as we have some iron stored, then I'm going to yes, we have a little bit of iron stored. As soon as we have enough, then I'm going to try getting a. I think a, a lumber mill going because we're really running low on wood. So hopefully a lumber mill will do something. Look at how cute this, look at how, how well developed this house is. Uh, now that we have our little, like <laughs> our, our little iron mine, it looks so different than our little stone huts. Oh, and pretty soon our stone huts are going to be looking different because we are going to be upgrading to two-door architecture. And that's going to reassess stone architecture. With improvements to material refinement, they begin wondering why they still live in leaky makeshift structures. By using a combination of stone brickwork and wooden finishings, Nuggets will be able to spruce up your civilization and upgrade key buildings. And that will upgrade our evolution tower to a medieval era. It will also upgrade stone huts to residential blocks and we're gonna have wind energy is the one that I picked for that so hopefully we'll have good wind energy all right might need to switch over to spring soon is it still a little early for that I think it's still kind of I mean we're still pulling in some of our crops so I think it's still a little early to try to switch over the seasons we'll have a warehouse for storage over here pretty soon I think we need more wood refineries. Let's not joke with ourselves. We've destroyed this forest. Like it's just completely gone. Can I build a, that's a warehouse. Lumber mill. 
Lumberjacks are a ragged bunch of nuggets who specialize in assessing, assassinating high-value trees. Beyond their ability to swing an axe to a standard higher to a standard degree, uh, a higher standard than any other creature on the planet, they also possess the finest facial hair. Yes, even the females. All right, I think we'll go ahead. Let's try putting in a lumberjack house, like right back here. And it looks like winter is coming. Oh, and we've completed electricity research. And let's switch the seasons before it really even starts. Spring, oh no, I don't have enough energy for spring. Oh, all right, we'll have to wait a little bit. But we'll get this lumber mill up and going. And I think we might, like I need trees, but I don't know how to get the trees up and going. Also the stone refinery is ready. Let's hire a couple, a couple youngins to the stone refinery. I don't think I need any educated laborers over there. Maybe educated laborers work a little faster. All right, we're still producing. Oh, here, I can help. Wait, I need telekinesis. Wait, I need to save my energy. All right, we've got new adult nuggets coming on in. We need to wait for spring. Please, I want it to be, please. Uh, let's see, telekinesis. And then spring. Wait, I can make it winter. Yeah, I don't think it's, I don't think it's like properly winter yet. All right, my little hauler is getting old. How's my little weather watcher? Amy's doing good. She predicts, I think, a tornado in like 11 minutes. Oh my gosh. All right, winter is here. All right, select telekinesis. Select, yes, boom. Behold, your belief in me has cleared away the snows. Enjoy all of it, my little nuggets, enjoy. There, all right, good. Yeah, our cemeteries are on top of things. I think I just need like a lot more going on in my, my wood refineries. And the lumber mill, I hope that it wasn't a waste of resources, but I don't know how to like rebuild trees. Wrath, influence, protection, creation. What happens if I select creation? Can I create more trees and just like make a patch of trees appear again and again and again? Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I don't think I can use my, my powers just yet is the problem. All right, so I think we've got quite a bit of water. We've got a ton of food. I think we're very, very well set on food. We've, we're making progress on the lumber mill. Um, should I, I should probably get another iron mine up and going because it won't really hurt things to have more. And it sounds like a smart idea. Can you, can you fit over here? Forest, forest. Huh, I think it needs to like be up in a mountain. Oh, there goes my little weather watcher. I want to follow her so I can find out where she lives and like mark one of her children so we can keep an eye on them. All right, so she is off to go eat. Oh, she's coming down to get some lizard candy. That's adorable. I do want to try to get to know more of my nuggets on a personal basis. Just there's so many of them now. Look, a new one is about to be born any second now. Hmm. Oh, hello, Chifisu. And we have... Age 18, age 24, age 14, age 7. I think that that... Oh, they must just be like living together. I gotcha, I gotcha. All right, and there's like a turtle. Is there a, really a turtle right here? There's a turtle. Somebody has a pet turtle. That's kind of amazing. And this nugget is getting some more water. Huh. And we should have wind energy finished. Did you guys have a baby? Oh, there's that new baby. Hello, little one. I'm going to go ahead and give you a little heart. And we're gonna name you, uh, uh, how about Hannah? Yeah, we'll name you Hannah Tinkin. And we'll keep an eye on you, little Hannah. All right, you guys should be the wood, ref come on, wood refinery people. Is there just not enough wood to refine? I guess there's not enough wood to refine. They live too far, oh my gosh, where's all the wood? Yeah, they live kind of far from any wood, to be completely honest. I guess I could help out. I have a tree. Like, I don't know if that's how my wood refinery should be working. So I probably need, if I can't add trees, probably need to figure out something else for them to be able to do. Because now that I've given them a couple trees, can you just pick up a whole well? That would be kind of amazing. But now that I've given them a couple trees, they're actually doing a little bit of work. Ooh! IQ! 
killed someone! I am so sorry! I am so sorry! That's not what I meant to do! I'll give you a burial. I was trying to help. Alright, I think that wood refinery needs to be retired. Just saying. There we go. Now she's buried. I'm sorry. It's been a while since I've accidentally killed someone by dropping something on top of their heads. But I guess it was bound to happen again eventually. Alright, so how are the herbs that we're growing? Okay. Raw food, herb storage. We're still... I think this is the first crop that we're actually growing. I see our water reserves are doing well. We've still got a lot of... I think that honestly, doing nothing, there's no more food to collect, in my opinion. We're going to go ahead. I'm going to release my hunters. And we're going to maybe swap that over to being like a school or something. Because my hunters have collected all they can. I don't think that there's really anything more that they can do. Alright, we have a school. Nuggets are being taught. We have plenty of food. In a lot of ways, we're quite successful. And in other ways, it's just taken donkey years to be able to get anything done. Alright, let's see. <laughs> My cemetery worker died of old age. There's so much irony in that. And then we just need some, some plain wood. I can help out with that. Ta-da! <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna grab some trees from way over there, though. Because I'm running low on trees nearby. And with a little bit more help... Yeah, we're gonna have to be careful because I think we'd have to rebuild a whole bunch of things uh, once we run out of enough materials nearby. So there's another tree. Everybody watch out! I really don't want to accidentally smush anyone. It just happens sometimes. And boom. Alright, so now they should have enough, uh, enough for the lumber mill and they just need to... Let's prioritize it. They just need to come and build it. There we go. And now these guys don't have any wood, but they should have plenty of wood. There's wood like literally around them. Here, what if I drop some more in? Now they'll have to do something. Now he's making some. That's so interesting. That's all it took, huh? All right, well, stone finery is working. They have plenty of stone that they keep gathering. The wood refinery and the lumber mill should have some attention soon. And what I'm hoping is we can start working on things like couriers, which will increase the flow of resources, because that's kind of what we're bumping into. Now we're getting to the point where it's very difficult to actually get enough resources into our society. But the flow of resources in your civilization is essential to its smooth operation. It wastes precious time for builders, chefs, and other professionals to have to collect the resources they require before they can continue their work. Couriers can solve this problem and improve efficiency in your workforce. Soon, all you need to do is train them to handle the fragile goods with more reverence than a pile of wood. So we're going to try building couriers huts. I think that's really going to help us out. We can't do organized storages just yet, but we could go up to a government and have a town hall at some point if we wanted. Uh, and we can just kind of keep going and seeing how our civilization... Ooh, a library for an archive upgrade. I want to work on that too. And then blacksmith you can't do yet, but rounded cogs increase pump output. Uh, let's see. And I guess we could do government and get a town hall. And that'll be about the limit already. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And then we'll have to wait until we get some more, um, wait until we get some more extensions. And we can keep going in, t in the future because this is still just an alpha play. But gosh, I love my little nuggets. It'd be so nice now that I have done this to figure out if I could do like some sort of challenge of some kind. Yeah, the hunter's hut. I just need them to start pulling resources out of. But I would love to try out seeing what we can do with the couriers. Oh, and look, our little one has grown up. Come on, Hannah. You're old enough to take care of yourself now. And you have plenty of food. You're just fine. You're just fine. So she should be fine too. Wow, I can't believe we've already hit like the end of what we can do with the alpha. Aww. Well, I've been having fun. Like we're not there yet. We're just kind of getting a little bit close to it. Uh, but I'm really happy. I, I like what I've learned. I'm hoping to be able to kind of spend a little bit more time having a little more of an individual relationship with my nuggets in the future. We'll upgrade the little hospital over here. 
I can't wait. Maybe you can do different styles of architecture as time goes on. I love all the little buildings and all their little details. And yeah, so I guess we're just gonna take good care of what we've got. I wanna see what some couriers can do. I wanna see how far we can expand. I wanna see if we can pull the population up even higher. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.